Hello, I know it's been a while, but I've been busy. Um, I've bought some batteries. Now, these are lithium iron phosphate batteries, bought from China. And uh, I've just discovered something. So these are brand new, just out of the box. So if we're looking across this cell, we have a reading of 0.6 volts. That is too low. They should be, as per this one, 0.32. They should all be matched, but these are not matched. So all these cells are completely different. So look at that one, for instance. 1.2. That is still too low. That should be about 2 volts minimum. So, question is, can I recover this cell? Yeah, this can go wrong. So I've got my battery hooked up with plus and minus on a power supply set to 3 volts at 2 amps. So, that is definitely plus. Plus. Right, let's see if it goes horribly wrong. Well, the voltage is going up. It's not getting hot. This is good. It's going up quite quickly. Much quicker than I was expecting. Now, this is a 2 amp power supply. Hmm. Well, that's definitely interesting. Whilst that's down there charging up and hopefully not exploding, I do have a balance board. So this is a little board which you may have seen around. Uh, Julian Eilet did a video about this. It's an eight cell balancer, so it's got nine terminals. So I put that across the battery. So what I'm gonna do is make up the entire pack, put that on it, then hopefully it'll balance up all these cells and take charges from the good cells, put it on the bad cells, and hopefully the pack will be fully balanced. Hopefully. When screwing on balance leads, things you should never do is rush it to make a video and use metal tools. I'm doing both of these things. Right, that's most of my balance leads on and in some sort of order. I've used a drill on the lowest uh, torque setting to just do the bolts up, for instance. Because I do not want to over tighten these because I don't think these are particularly strong. Um, I just need to put the last cell on, so that's been charging now for a few minutes and it's already gone up to 2.95 volts. So I'll stick that on, measure all the voltages, and then plug in the balance board. All the balance leads are now on and I've double checked them. And a quick summarise of all the voltages. So we've got 2.6, uh, 3.5, one point zero nine, sorry. One point two, three point two. See what I'm doing there. Three point one, three point two, two point two, and three point zero. Now, they're all meant to be the same, so this is pretty badly out of balance. So I'll plug my module in, and hopefully it'll start balancing. Right, so the module's in, and we can see the lights are on. So hopefully, that will start to balance soon. So one and two, yep. And if I get a current meter, oh, I am covering the lens up and everything. So I want the current, DC, we should see some current flowing. 100 milliamps in that one, 100 milliamps in that one, what's that one doing? 30, nothing in that one. Obviously this could take some time, nothing in that one. In that one okay well we'll leave it to run and uh, this could take a while for those interested I've got a Dali BMS which is ready to go in this pack so once this pack is balanced because you have to have a uh, certain level of balance if we can fit one of these um, we'll be able to put it all together so this is a 120 amp discharge BMS and it's a single port so this goes on negative and this is your battery negative so effectively 
it switches on the negative side and you charge and discharge it via the single cable. Other types of BMS you have two cables, one for charge, one for discharge. This is just single port one. But we'll fit that later on when these packs uh, balance themselves. I'm looking at a low cell with the balancer still balancing and you can see that the voltage is actually going up and quite quickly so hopefully this should be fairly balanced fairly quickly it should only take a few hours so it's only been an hour and the cells have already gone up there you go to over two volts which is the safe low voltage for them so it's still balancing see the lights are on and we've still got three volts on some of the cells but I'm very happy these have recovered and off and three so it's now time for me to fit the BMS wiring BMS and then we can connect it up and so the BMS is connected BMS is connect, connected in the same way as the balance lead so you've got same sort of plug all goes to each individual cell uh, in the row so each cell is basically monitored then you've got a common terminal on your most negative side and then this becomes your negative terminal for the battery and of course your positive terminal is still here so you connect your inverter across here and here same with your charger as well so this is effectively your common you don't use this one anymore and that's it this would look after the battery this would do the balance well this does the balancing as well but because this pack is so out of balance I'm just using this you don't necessarily need it once it's fully charged but I'll probably leave it on there anyway and see how it runs and then I shall swap my lead acids for lithium um, I'll do a separate video on that and how to connect it all up but for now we'll just let that balance let it settle and when it's sunny because at the moment it is pitch black we shall swap the batteries over because if I do it now the lights will go off because all the shed is currently run by the solar so don't fancy doing it in the dark right thank you very much